Alright, so this is where I play switcheroo, so pay close attention. Okay, this is what I came up with with the shadow box. Okay, and it's the same thing I just had from the last lesson. Now, the issue with this is, um, this is great for developing parts, how you stagger uh, these in this view and this view out to create shadows. But it's not very good for sculpting, okay? Reason being that I can't grab the mesh very easily with this big thing in the way. So, instead of that, what we're going to do is grab a Z sphere and then load tool the original skull plane. And I'm going to swap out some parts. First off, I don't need the square, so I'll delete that. Then, I'm going to go back to the other one and I need this one. So I'm going to clone it, go to the skull plane, and append it. There we go. Now just let's switch materials and get ready for the next lesson. Let's go into basic materials and let's take and basically burn this material into both things. That way I don't constantly switch between materials. I do that by going to materials, I go to color, fill object, and I go to the same thing, color, fill object. There. Now both share the same material. Then we can work on the whole transparency thing, and you could turn on transparency, and make sure under preferences, ghost is turned off. Then you can adjust this to the transparency that you like. In this case, I might choose something really light and rely on heavily on my um, grid. Okay? Because the grid's going to color it anyway. This way, I can pay close attention to how stretched out my polygons get um, a lot better than I could uh, with this actual frame off. I can, and after time, you'll develop a great deal of depth this way. Just by looking at the wireframe, if I push it in in this area, I can see if it's starting to flow along that area. Okay, so now that we've cleaned house, this is step four. In the next video, we're going to start pushing these forms in just a little bit, just to get the overall thickness and then we're going to hop right into topology tools and start uh, working on maybe developing two different forms here. One for the top and one for the bottom jaw and see how that works.